Welcome to Vetted. In this module, we're going to show you the steps as a manufacturer, what you need to do in order for you to uh, upload your information, which is requested by your retail customer. You will have already have completed the module which relates to you registering your email account and your credentials in order to get access. You'll also be furnished the URL in order to access the portal, which you did again to register your account. So let's now go through the various steps which you need to do. So let's first log on to the portal. And this is the first site that you will see when you come to the portal. Let's just take a moment to navigate um, through the portal so you can understand what the features are present. The first step that I wanted to highlight is this icon on the bottom right. This is where you can type in your questions and we have a team of uh, technical IT suppliers and also vets who can answer your questions if you have problems completed the, com if you have challenges completed the vetted IT portal. Uh, on the top here are the navigations, which will, is the home page, which is this screen. There'll be a product here which will show, which will show all the products that you've been uh, allocated to supply to the retailer your sites. So these are if you've got various multiple sites for your manufacturing and attestations telling you what the outstanding attestations that you've requested for your uh, registered vet to complete. The first time users, there's a little bit of work that you need to first do. Uh, the first one would be is you need to have their email addresses and the Royal College numbers for the vets that you would uh, need to do and, and you can invite them to have access to their various uh, platform levels. So here you would type in the veterinary surgeon's email address that you would be engaging to sign your support attestations and also then click the generate vet IV and that will automatically send them a link which they will then enable them to register uh, to have access on their part of the platform to complete support attestations. Uh, as a first time user, you'll be allocated what we call a super user. And so you can invite as many colleagues as you want. Again, you'll require their email here. They will send them a generation, uh, generate an, in, uh, an automatic invitation for them. And then they have to follow the same process of uh, registering their, uh, ac uh, their account in order to access the vetted portal. Once you've done that, you've uh, invited your colleagues and vets. You can invite vets at a later stage whenever you come back to the homepage. So again, uh, you may find that there are vets who are coming and going um, where you have different vets who are being required to supply supplies to complete support attestation. So you may wish to do that later on. Likewise, you may have additional colleagues who may want to have access to the portal sites at your various uh, factory sites that you're operating in. Uh, so that is the in terms of inviting and getting access. The first stage that you need to do is to allocate to add sites to your um, to where you conduct your manufacturing. Here's an example of a few sites that have already been chosen for this uh, demonstration. There's a search facility here. If you have multiple sites that you can just type the names and search it, it'll find it down there. Um, but we're in this exercise, um, we're going to uh, add a new site. Uh, and for demonstration purposes, uh, this company that we are manufacturing, that we uh, are doing for demonstration is called Dairy and Composite uh, Demo Limited. So that will become evident later when, you, when we produce the support attestations. So let's add a site first. So uh, again, this is the company that the parent company is demo. And now we're going to include the name. So it'll be... Um, trial factory in this case we'll call it uh, we'll have the address at 123 London Road we'll call it in Oxford postcode F um, and in this case um, it will have a, a registration number and we'll call this one, two, three, four. 
So that you will do for each of your factories. And again, you can change the address if you've made an error that you found that you instead of uh, one, two, three, it was actually four, five, six. So you can change that uh, there and it will update it for you. OK, uh, so if we go back to the top part of the icon here, which is sites, um, there we've got our trial factory in Oxford. Um, and you can see sort of features here, view products, which we'll show later on, but you can actually see the information. It goes back to the navigation there. So that's the first stage. You probably will need to do that one off um, unless you've got multiple sites that you just switch on. on. But uh, typically, once you've added your portfolio of sites, that will make it a lot easier. The next stage would be is the products. So here again, we've got an example of uh, a list of products that uh, have been allocated and we'll explain a lot bit about the stages for this. In this exercise, we're, there's going to be two products that we're going to complete support attestations. One is going to be an ice cream uh, demo A and another one is a beef uh, pizza, which is a beef flavor. Let's just show you a little bit of some of the things on this here just to help you navigate. This information in terms of the name, product codes and EAN numbers will be uh, uploaded by the retailer so you will know what products they are requiring support attestations in order for you to uh, and for, in order for them to be able to export their products to the EU. There's currently tells you what the status for some of them in terms of valid support attestations. So that gives you a preempt in terms of when they are going to be expiring or when they're going to be due. The red features here indicates there are no valid support attestations. So this indicates under the system here that none of these products is eligible for export to the EU because there's no valid support attestations. You will also notice in time that when uh, you have seven days before these support attestation expiry date, your color does change from a white to a yellow. So that gives you some forewarning that you need to make arrangements or, uh, with your registered vet in order to uh, complete a support attestation. So let's do the exercise first of how we complete a support attestation. And the first one we're going to do is the ice cream uh, demo A. Uh, product. So this is a product number which your retailer have. You'll know what the EAN numbers. So firstly, you click on the ice cream demo, and this is the first screen. So it's a bit of basic information that will first need to be uh, populated. So again, where there's no icons, there's no information that's required. So the first step is what is on this uh, colored icon, and this is a little bit of information that we require from you about your product. So the first one will be the manufacturing plant and as we did a, a tr we inserted the new factory that we did we'll use the same one which is called a trial factory. Uh, we're going to call put this under an 8285 dairy certificate and then we have to state the country of origin which will be Great Britain in this case. The region we're going to put non applicable but you can if it is required. Description which is going to be the ice cream demo and the nature of the commodity in this case is just going to be dairy where 1604 is what we'll put as an example certified um, and the temperature in this case it will be a frozen product um, and it will be um, in pots that's the primary packaging uh, in trays and then in cases and we put the net weight of the product which is going to be 0 0.4 and this is in kilos uh, and zero sorry is gross weight 0 0.7 for the gross weight so that is a general portfolio of your product that is required um, on that one now because this is a dairy there is no further progress that uh, in terms of support attestations it will pretty much pre-populate your information there so once that is done the next stage is to request a uh, support attestation uh, and again, you can just see this as an overview. So uh, it just gives you an overview of what this uh, support attestation, something similar to what has already been completed. Uh, the information is there already populated. Um, and the, all the clauses, which the uh, certifying officer will already need, will also be there. But the additional information here is the procedures for traceability. And that, that's something that you will need to change every month when you're completing uh, because your batch numbers, so we, in this case, we'll uh, use by date. You can use best before date, sorry. Um, 
uh, use by date. Julian code systems, there's various methods of traceability and if you can be as explicit as you can, that makes it very easy. Uh, and then we'll just put a, a date, the range from to, and we'll put that and it's, um, there'll be a feature here choosing files which you can then put photographs and additional information we're giving a bit of a, an option at the moment not to require that but it's in future we will be requesting that uh, so it's maybe good practice to just to click that choose a file and you can put your photographs of the actual product that will require because you'll know the vet who you're going to sign you'll also need to know their royal college number which we was one of the prerequisites we said to register your vet um, and you fill in their Royal College number. They don't need their names, just the number that's all required. You now have the option of either you can print and sign this declaration, so you must do that before you click this icon, or you can either do sign now or sign later. What we will do in this for demonstration, we'll do it sign now. So we'll just go through. Uh, so again, just a final check, make sure your product meets all these requirements, what you've done for a, a dairy certificate. Uh, so check, check, check all that before you then click after that onto the save button. So here is the uh, support attestation document that is created. Now this is a digital signature feature that we, we are offering here that is available. And um, again, it's similar to what the previous screen that I showed. Uh, and so the next thing that once you're happy you can either reject it or you can then go to the next field um, then you go to the next field and here you can then do your digital signature so you have three options you can write with your mouse type your name or upload a, a signature image um, for this one we'll just do a mouse and we'll just sign it there okay uh, and so that's submit signature and then you click the relevant clock requirements here, which is confirm, uh, understand it's accepted, uh, green if you're then happy to proceed, or if you want to reject and go all the way back, you click on the red button. And that, in theory, that can now produces a valid support attestation. Um, and it shows you now it's awaiting, the document is waiting for the event. So the vet who's registered with the 607020, which was on this example, will then pick that up when he registers on the portal. He will do your inspection visit, and on the day of inspection, he will do a digital signature similar to what you've done. Um, so that will then, uh, the status of that product will then go from red to clear. So then therefore it'll be picked up that, that those products have a 30, valid 30-day 30 support attestation. Um, so that's, so let's do it a little bit more of a complex product where uh, like a composite so just go through the same exercise for a composite product and let's do the beef flavor on this one okay this product for the beef flavor we're gonna again go through the same features as we did earlier so we'll click edit uh, manufacturing plant in this case is going to be um, what we used last time which was the test factory demo uh, we'll choose this one. Uh, in this case, it's going to be composite. Country of origin will be Great Britain. Just scroll down there. Region, in this case, again, is not applicable. Um, description of commodity is going to be pizza, which is beef flavor. nature of commodity is going to be dairy in the case of cheese and also meat product in the case of beef uh, flavor although it's actual beef that's present there commodity code we will know which you'll provide is in this case can be 21.06 certified it's going to be um, uh, chilled uh, and this one is going to be primary practice cling film wrapped on food safe tray so food grade safe tray it's in, going to be then in a secondary is a cardboard 
board box and it's going to be those boxes are going to be put into card board cases net weight will be in our case here yeah, we'll put them as point four five kilograms and the gross weight with all the packaging is going to be 1.2 kilograms we click save now in this case you will see unlike the previous case the support attestation is not possible because there's some additional information required uh, so again this time we click the edit composite information and what we said was is that this was going to contain uh, meat product which was in case going to be beef so this will be uh, treatment a country will be great britain uh, and the establishment in our example will be 1111. Um, we will put this as a BSC status rating. We're going to put this as um, controlled. Uh, and then here's a number of selections on the icon. And again, you refer to the export health certificate as your model. In this case, it's going to have the first two clauses. There's no in case of any bovine intestine, so part three is not required. It also got a dairy element, which is namely going to be the cheese. The approval number is going to be, for arguments here, triple two. The country of origin is going to be Great Britain. And again, we have a look at the statements, and the choice in here is it's the same country as what the country of export 1.7. If there was a member state or a third country, it obviously has to be approved. Uh, this again will be uh, ensuring these clauses are to make sure which you need to provide evidence which your vet will be need to be satisfied in order to complete the support attestation. Then there is some requirements in terms of the methodology of how pasteurizing or how the milk has been treated. In our case it was uh, at least greater than 72 degrees at 15 Celsius. Uh, again if there's eggs or fish that can be added um, then we would tick the relevant icons and provide the data but in our case it's, there's no additional information that's required and now you will see that the it will allow us to generate uh, a new request because we've contained all the information that is required if we then click request new support attestation this will now generate a support attestation again it's got the unique document reference number which you will require it will then contain all the clauses um, that you will uh, signing a support attestation, the relevant information, the product information that's present, and the legislative requirements that we will require at the other end as certifying officer. Uh, this will then, we just need to complete here procedures for traceability. So in our case, we'll use best before date plus 30 days as an ex minus 30 days to ensure that the products covered over that support attestation are going to be valid when we check the batches uh, we'll put the dates of the range again you can use julian codes batch numbers used by dates manufacturing dates of manufacturing um, so there's various options that you have whatever your business is required here you'll have the features to add photos of your products which will again help us and then here you need your veterinary surgeons Royal college number uh, and in this case we can we, we have the three options but in this case we're going to do sign now so you sign it now in terms of social so as you'll notice here it doesn't allow me to progress because there's a, an additional piece of information which we should have added which we didn't do and this is for the dairy part of the composite you have to stipulate whether it's a single production date or multiple in our case we'll do multiple i've got a little calendar here um, and then we can just sort of choose what the date of production is and hopefully now when we click sign now and we save it um, it should not go to the next stage of where we're doing a digital signature so we'll just let that process which it has so this is the digital document that you will be signing again all exactly what happens with the support attestation um, you then have the option of either clicking on here go to next field or 
If you go right at to the bottom of this document that you'll be uh, making a signature, electronic signature, uh, you have now again the three options, um, whether you mouse, type your name and upload. So I'll just do name in here and I'll just do test signature um, and then you do submit and then you click the three relevant buttons that here to say that you've accepted it with your digital signature your digital signature is safe because you have a specific login details that's specific to you so that's how we ensure the document is uh, signed by yourself uh, and now we will see that we've got the um, section here where we can either view it and it tells us the status so this status is now of this document is now waiting for the approval from the vet to sign it uh, you can view it if you want to by clicking here on what you've agreed for if you decide that you want to change it or cancel the document you can click here cancel and you can then re-request a support attestation however I would like to highlight to you that you cannot request uh, support attestations within a 24-hour period for a new one you have to wait for 24 hours before you're able to develop uh, or generate another support attestation so just be careful when you're requesting your support attestation that you checked all the data and the information is correct and here you will see a history of historical support attestations that you will generate over the various months or within the month if you're if you've had a change that you need to change your support attestation uh, and that is the first that is the second example um, on creating support attestations and then here you can also click attestation requests you can see um, this is the ice cream um, demo that is there and also the beef one so these two were the ones support attestations you can actually see the status um, and there's obviously some outstanding ones that uh, have been done but the vet will then come and he will then probably sign all these off at the same time and then the date when the support attestation is valid is when the vet has actually signed it so you can request it early which the vet can then log on he can assess the support attestations uh, before he actually comes on site uh, and if he has got any questions or issues he can engage with you to make sure that uh, your information um, is correct for all the uh, data which he requires in order for him to prepare his visit uh, and for you to prepare for him to come to site have already been done um, and that basically is it uh, obviously don't forget to log out you know uh, after that although there is a feature that if you are continued logged on it will then uh, log you out automatically um, but that is all that you require and then every month when you're required to do support attestations because your products have all, a lot of the data has already been pre-populated if your operations and your sourcing is exactly the same then there's going to be very little that you will need to adjust and change but it's an opportunity for you to review your products uh, and make sure that you are up to date and that concludes the module for completing uh, for a manufacturer for the support attestations